From the forgotten hearse abandoned outside a creepy funeral home to a radioactive helicopter from Chernobyl, plus everything in between, here are 10 amazing abandoned vehicles. Number 10. The MV Kalakala The MV Kalakala originally operated on Puget Sound from 1935 to 1967. It was considered one of the most luxurious ways to venture across the water thanks to its streamlined, aircraft-like design. It was like something from the future. It was a top attraction during the World Fair, but eventually things turned south. The bad thing about the Kalakala was that its aircraft-inspired design was impractical in several ways. Visibility from the small wheelhouse was poor all around, and she was hard to maneuver. Times changed, and it just got old. Unfortunately, this amazing ferry became abandoned after its retirement in the 60s and was beached in Kodiak, Alaska. She became a crabbing ship until it got to be too expensive, and then a shrimp cannery, and then she was abandoned again. In 1998, the boat was towed back to Puget Sound as the owner hoped to restore it to its former glory. However, after the ship was towed, it was once again abandoned. To safely restore the ship would have taken around $25 million that nobody wanted to spend. It sat in Knee Bay, gradually deteriorating until the Coast Guard declared it a hazard to navigation in 2011. Even after all those years, the owner still never raised the money needed for restoration, and in 2015, the ship was finally scrapped after a long and lasting legacy. Although the end was kind of sad, you have to admit. Number 9. Jaguar Graveyard Jaguars are some of the greatest cars ever designed. James Bond drove one, and that means I want to drive one too, right? It's always a shame when you see an old and abandoned Jaguar left in somebody's barn or garage. But something extraordinary was discovered in a garden of an abandoned house in England. Not just a single Jaguar, but an entire graveyard of them. Hidden by years of undergrowth near the back end of this mysterious property. Out of the Jaguars discovered, there were two black Jaguar E-Type vehicles, one red Jaguar S-Type, and that's it. Still, three classic Jaguars rotting in such horrendous condition should be a crime against humanity. Luckily, one of the Jaguars has since been saved. After 30 years of direct exposure to the elements, one of the Jaguar E-Type cars was dragged from the undergrowth and restored back to its former glory. The Jag, which at the time of its discovery was a complete piece of trash, is now worth more than $100,000. It was obviously quite the project, but when finished, the car looked absolutely gorgeous. For car lovers, this is like watching a stray dog be taken in by loving parents. Number 8. Forgotten Hearse Nothing is better than a creepy hearse, and nothing is creepier than an abandoned funeral home in Alabama. It's unclear what the name of this funeral home is, but it apparently opened in the 1800s and went abandoned in 1997. Since then, nobody has touched the creepy funeral home. It's falling apart. It's full of unopened coffins, and there's a very cool hearse still sitting in the garage with a coffin sticking out of its rear. The vehicle is definitely not in very good shape, and it has since been burdened with quite a bit of graffiti. But as far as abandoned vehicles go, it's the creepiest. There's no clue as to whether the hearse runs or not, nor does anyone know if it's haunted. But judging by the state of the rest of the decaying funeral home, the hearse is probably worthless. Rainwater has soaked through most of the home, and it's safe to say that the hearse wouldn't even start with a key. Number 7. The Spruce Goose The Spruce Goose was the largest wooden airplane ever built. It was only flown once. Nonetheless, this vehicle represents one of the greatest attempts humanity has ever made at conquering the sky. It was designed back in the 1940s as a way to move troops and materials across the ocean during the war effort. This is because German submarines were sinking way too many Allied ships. They needed a way to bring important things from America to Europe, and the Spruce Goose was the answer. However, the build was a challenge, because the government had restricted what materials could be used for what purpose, so there was no steel or aluminum available. The Spruce Goose was then made entirely out of wood, and it was six times larger than any other aircraft in existence. This already sounds like a pretty bad idea. The giant airplane made a single flight in 1947, and it went just over one mile at an altitude of 70 feet for just one minute. This apparently proved to everyone that it could fly, and in preparation for another flight, the enormous airplane was put into a climate-controlled hangar, but there would be no second flight. The government didn't care about the airplane anymore, and it sat inside of its hangar, abandoned, until 1976 when the original designer died. Eventually, the massive failure of an airplane was transported by truck to Oregon, where it was restored. In 2001, the Spruce Goose was completed and left at the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. Number 6. Abandoned Oil Tanker Most abandoned vehicles are pretty old, but this next story comes from summer 2020, when an abandoned oil tanker off the coast of Yemen came into the spotlight. 
It's not every day that such a large ship is abandoned. After all, you'd think in modern times things like this wouldn't happen. Nevertheless, the oil tanker was abandoned with one million barrels of crude oil inside of it and at risk of exploding, which could cause serious damage to marine life. The area in which the tanker was abandoned is currently controlled by rebel groups, and they've denied the United Nations access to the vessel. In fact, the United Nations have been trying to assess the damaged vessel for years, but nobody has let them near it. Even the owner of the tanker has been denied access. According to NBC News, the local rebels have been treating the abandoned tanker as if they have a nuclear weapon. Apparently, the rebels were also demanding millions of dollars to return the oil tanker, which they've essentially claimed for themselves. The tanker was originally sold to Yemen in the 1980s, but was abandoned in 2015 because of a civil war. As of now, the abandoned tanker is still waiting to leak one million barrels of oil into the ocean. Number five, the snow cruiser. Time to check out something a little less depressing. Somewhere at the bottom of the world, there's a massive Antarctic exploration vehicle that was last seen in 1958. The vehicle was designed initially to travel at least 5,000 miles and be self-sustainable for a full year. It was also supposed to be able to drive anywhere. However, the project was doomed from the start. The vehicle had a wheelbase of 20 feet, a total length of 56 feet, and was powered using two Cummins diesel engines. It was an enormous beast, and it should have allowed for pretty easy sailing across Antarctica. There was a kitchen inside, a storeroom, and even a living quarters. It was basically an all-purpose RV from the 1930s designed for exploring Antarctica. The snow cruiser eventually arrived on the ice continent, but it only drove for around two miles before the crew realized it was a total dud. The vehicle lacked power and traction. It was too heavy, and it couldn't navigate across the ice. It was a total disaster at the South Pole, and the crew eventually left the cruiser sitting in the snow. That was in 1941. Today, nobody has any idea where the vehicle is, but there's a good chance it's covered in snow and will never be seen again. Number four, the radioactive helicopters of Chernobyl. You may be familiar with the abandoned cities around the Chernobyl disaster site, but what you might not know is that there's a radiated junkyard full of the vehicles used by rescue crews during the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. Specifically, there are some pretty cool MI6 helicopters still sitting abandoned over 25 years later. These helicopters are so saturated with radiation that they'll never be utilized again. They've been abandoned in a giant scrapyard full of other unusable vehicles. How radiated are these helicopters, you ask? Well, they allegedly give off about 30 rentgens an hour, even today, which is roughly one-third of the needed lethal dose. It's not enough to kill you immediately, but it's certainly not something you want to be near. To prevent any of the irradiant material from spreading, there are strict penalties against looting from the vehicles in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. While you might want to check out some of these awesome helicopters and old fire trucks, you're not allowed. Number 3. Fake Cars at the Beach This next one should be labeled as a public service announcement. At Miami Beach, there have been reports coming in about abandoned Miami Beach police cruisers. Drivers reported seeing the exact same police car sitting at the beach day after day. As it turns out, the cop car sitting at the beach along the MacArthur Causeway was not abandoned at all, but placed there without a driver on purpose. According to the Miami New Times, that's because the Miami Beach Police Department scattered a bunch of decoy police cars across the city to try and spook speeders. Let this be a warning to anyone who sees cop cars that look abandoned in the same place for days at a time. It's just the police using their own vehicles as decoys to try and scare you. No police department in the world would purposely abandon one of their own vehicles, especially not at the beach. Number 2. 1953 Dodge M43 Ambulance There's something ridiculously satisfying about old barn finds. One of the coolest recent finds was a 1953 Dodge M43 Ambulance, completely abandoned and sitting somewhere in the middle of nowhere, Illinois. You might recognize the ambulance as the same type used in the television series MASH about the Korean War from 1950 to 1953. What's even more outstanding is that the abandoned ambulance was apparently for sale for only $2,500 on Craigslist. That's an outstanding deal even if you're not going to restore the ambulance. You can still use it as a jungle gym or to keep your snakes inside of, whatever they do in Illinois. Judging by the interior photographs, the ambulance was the real deal. It was very likely used in the war though there's no information on how it returned to the United States or what in the world it was doing rotting away in Illinois. The ambulance was for sale in 2018, so hopefully now someone has picked it up and is restoring it by now. Number 1. The Space Shuttle on Prince Edward Island Prince Edward Island is a very small island province in the country of Canada. It's also the most unexpected place to find an abandoned space shuttle. As you can see from the photographs, the space shuttle is literally sitting in the middle of a field apparently in the middle of nowhere. It's obviously being left to rot, and it's even being scribbled on with graffiti. 
But just what exactly is it doing there? Well, the space shuttle never actually functioned. It was apparently a replica space shuttle based on the real spacecraft Columbia. The replica can be found near a place called Bay View, and you can even see it as you drive by on the highway. Why the replica was replaced in a random field beside the road is a bit of a mystery, but it's just another one of the strange things you'll spot on any road trip through Canada. Which of these abandoned vehicles would you love to restore and take for a spin? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, and come back soon for another amazing video right here on American Eye.